dealing with this fucking bullshit that I mean it eats our fucking lives so I uh go over to this goddamn place next door Monroe tires two fucking days ago I, I, I make an appointment and I say I need you guys to look for a leak in a tire that's all I need you to do is, is fix a leak in a tire. And he says, come back Wednesday at noon. So I drive all the fucking way to Ithaca. Come here for my appointment at noon to, to, to get a fucking le leak in a tire uh, fixed. And uh, the drug guy said, well, how long is this going to take? And he says, come back in 45 minutes. We'll have you all fixed up. So I'm gone a fucking hour. I come back in an hour. I give the guy an extra fit. The, the, the motherfucking truck is sitting exactly where it was sitting when I left an hour before. And so there's this dude who was in there, sitting there, when I got in there at noon. It's now one o'clock. And I said, dude, I, I, I said, uh, how long have you been sitting? I said, you were here when I got here. And he goes, I've been sitting here since 10.30. And I said, 10 fucking 30? I said, what are you getting, a set of tires? He goes, I'm getting an oil change. And he made an appointment. Made an appointment over the phone for an oil change at 10.30. Two and a half fucking hours. He's still there. So I get in my goddamn truck. And I drive 40 feet to this dude. Bruce's pit stop, Ithaca's favorite oil change, where they get you in and out of here in 10 fucking minutes. The guy's 50 feet away, has been sitting there two and a half fucking hours. I, I drive over here and uh, say, how long will it take you to, uh, to look for a leak in a tire? And he goes, that's all you want? And I said, yeah. He goes, pull it in. Uh, fucking gas sucking cars. They eat our goddamn brain. Anyway, we're going to give uh, three cheers for uh, Bruce's pit stop. Uh, Bruce's pit stop. up of the day and we'll give Monroe tires and brakes the uh, flesh of the day <clears throat> so where I so I go over here you know waiting for my 45 minutes I go over to, the, to this fucking Arby's next door to get a goddamn chicken sandwich and I'm just sitting there just watching this parade of, of adipose tish, tissue just waddling through this place I mean you know cow after cow uh, like good fucking God coming in there and ordering all of their fucking you know deep fried potato cakes in their fucking uh milkshake it's good got it and and i'm watching and 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 i was just losing my fucking appetite watching this shit uh, and we uh all right we have the pollinators on the wildflowers inside the tires well, look, look at this shit guys you know, you turn your head one direction and you're looking at this goddamn parade of 300-pound heifers coming through Arby's. Then you got your fucking monster truck and your fucking pile of tires. And Jesus, talk about the enshittification of everything. Ah. Uh. The enshittification of everything. 
it, 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 it's just every fucking where you look. I was reading this long thing on medium.com today about who I think is Richard Lowenthal is talking about the epidemic of disillusionment the disillusionment that that more and more fucking people are uh, are becoming disillusioned just freeing themselves from the illusion that uh, that the, the, just, just the illusion of everything as more and more fucking people pull their heads out of their asses and just look around them everywhere you fucking turn it's the enshittification of everything disabusing you of your il illusions No clue what this thing is. No clue what that thing is. <sighs> Disillusioned that every fucking day we're, we're gonna have more and more disillusioned, uh, formerly clueless fucking morons uh, on this planet pulling their heads out of their asses, looking around at just how fucked we are. I mean, just look, look at this. Just this. Look, look at that. Broken down fucking monster trucks. Fucking garbage strewn everywhere. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, we'll see what he's figuring out about my fucking tire with a hole in it. He's probably going to try to sell me a new set of fucking tires for $1,200. Oh, God, we're so fucked.